Welcome to PicoGrid in El Segundo, California. PicoGrid is building the foundational infrastructure for the next generation of defense technology. So we're helping build out the core middleware that connects all these different systems in the field with all the software systems that depend on them. We move incredibly fast with how we build things and we test early and often. We're not building technology that's going to be deployed in 10 years. We're building technology that's going to be deployed in a week or two. We're deploying software updates to the front lines in Ukraine weekly. We're deploying technology across the country to different military installations all the time. We're taking this platform that we've been able to build in-house and really develop and deploy across the world and opening it up for any developer to plug into. So whether you're deploying a new payload, deploying new software systems that run on our hardware, or plugging in new command and control interfaces or sensor fusion applications or artificial intelligence algorithms on the cloud side, make that possible. We are fortunate enough to work with some exceptionally experienced folks who came right out of the military and, and joined our team to be able to, to lead on that experience and use that to make the, the technology that's serving the next generation of, of the military that much better. I think that's what's really impactful. My name is Martin Sosarik. I'm one of the co-founders at PicoGrid. We combine Silicon Valley engineering talent, but also the best of what the military has to offer, which is a critical piece to have credibility with our customers, with our users, to be able to empathize with them, to be able to really build deep connections. We need to work with people that are coming out of service, and I feel very strong about that. My name is Dan Trita, I'm the Vice President of Hardware. Over the last several years, we've uh, actually been able to save several lives of people who were stranded in the desert, and the only reason they survived is because they stumbled upon our equipment that was deployed there and was able to detect them and alert us or our customers to go out there and help them. We want to stay as close to the metal as we can, as close to the hardware. I mean, just how we laid out the production along one side and desks along the other side. So we're very closely tied to what it is we're building and how we've really laid out this space, but also how we built that into the culture of the company. What's interesting about El Segundo is like it's become a meme, but it's it's nothing new. Actually, Beyond Meat started on the other side of that wall. So us and a whole bunch of other founders in the area, we're building technology to solve very hard problems in the real world. So these are companies that are not just in defense, these are companies like solving terraforming or extracting jet fuel out of air or building new manufacturing methods, manufacturing in space. Like these are really, really hard problems and a different sort of technology than I think we've seen before. They say that El Segundo is not zoned for SaaS, and I think we, we definitely, definitely buy into that. What gets me up in the morning, right, is, is like the mission matters and the technology we're building today can and will save lives as we scale this up in the future.